Hey everybody, it's Lions and Stigler Printing. It is raining in Stigler. And so we're bringing some of our projects indoors today. And one of those projects is this trailer that's right behind me. This is for the Stigler High School Marching Band. And a couple of years ago, they had somebody wrap everything but the back trailer. And so they came to us and they said, is that something you guys can do? And so I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to kind of show you the process that we take our customers through when we're doing vehicle wraps. And while we're not completely doing full on car wraps, we are doing a lot of trailer wraps. So if you're somebody that works out of a truck and maybe you pull a trailer every day, you really need to take a moment and look into the possibility of adding some signage on your trailer. It's really not that expensive um, and it's something that we can do really quickly. So we're gonna walk you guys through what we take our customers through and how we make vehicle signage simple. I'm back, I'm here with Matt Mayo. Matt is the guru for all things sign related, banner related, decal related, vehicle wrap related at Stigler Printing. And I thought maybe we could take just a few moments with Matt and kind of explain what the experience is like if you call in or maybe you drive in. Uh, now, what we've got behind us is our three monitors and the, the, the photograph over here is the photograph that we took when or you took when you went to the school right right that's the very first step is getting photos measuring the trailer so if you have a project you want to do stop by here let us evaluate it that's mm -hmm. step one is evaluate what we're putting it on sometimes there may be a residue on the vehicle we need to look at just mm -hmm. anything you can do to bring the vehicle by let us look at the project you want to do second step is create a graphic after we get uh, the measurements this is the graphic right here in the middle. You can see that we've designed it and got it ready to go. And here's the trailer before we right. did anything. And then here, if you want to zoom in okay. over here, yeah, yeah. is a rendering of it on the trailer. So this would have been what you sent the to customer. the customer. Yeah. Okay, and so that's, that's excellent. So for somebody out there uh, that's looking to do some kind of a, a vehicle wrap kind of like this, it's an abstract concept for you to say, uh, just put you know my logo and I'd like to have these colors on there and you're really not going to get a sense for what it looks like until we do the rendering so the rendering process is actually a really big part of what you do and ultimately when they say see it they're gonna know exactly what they're gonna get and so you go into the printing process with a lot of confidence knowing you're gonna get what they want so do so do you anybody that's doing a, uh, <laughs> something on a project a vehicle is a, a important thing to us and, and your graphics on there or a trailer it's mm -hmm. gotta you gotta see it you can't it's hard to just let somebody do, go run with it so that's right. why we do renderings and uh, this is a printed vinyl decal that we're doing mm -hmm. we also do the cut vinyl decals mm -hmm. and and trailer flat trailers yeah with rivets on them so it's approved so it's not it's now time to get this thing printed right that's right all right let's get that going we'll be back in a few okay so we're back Matt has uh, called me to to take a look at the progress that we're making and uh, how are things going Matt it's going great we're halfway done we're starting on the, the top half of the trailer and we're gonna put the bottom half on and start uh, doing some of our curing process on the actual trailer itself and it'll be done yeah we'll touch up work and then it's going great so this looks exactly like the rendering and you've got it in two sections and it looks like what you've also tried to do is to take off a lot of the brackets and i've seen you know I've, these days when we're out and about we look at a lot of other people's work and one of the things that always frustrates us is when people don't take off what brackets yeah. and, and handles and bra yeah. brackets and handles it just looks a lot nicer so you guys have taken their time you've taken off those handles and you made sure this uh this is going to be a nice right. clean finished project right. let's get a little bit closer so you're using a wet application and your first step is to go ahead and kind of squeegee this out and then you're going through and you're working out all of these little bubbles and you actually have some special tools that help you do that, right? Right, we use uh, 3M cards is one of my favorite felt tip and then you just work out all the, all the air you can here. Pretty easy process, just takes a little bit of time and after you've worked it and it's dried up, we use a heat gun and then we shrink wrap the rivets and then it looks awesome. All right. We'll come back in a few and take a look at the finished product. Hey everybody, so we're back and we are almost done. 
Matt, how do you think it looks? I think it looks awesome. We're doing great work here. One thing I was noticing is, gosh, you guys do a great job with these rivets. I don't know if you guys can see that, but all those rivets are really nice. How are you doing that? You're heating it and then you're using a, a separate tool over that? Looks like right. a rolling tool. It's an ergonomic rolling wheel that uh, is a foam ball. Yeah. A foam wheel that pushes the heated material over the rivet and then when it cools it stays warm and it yeah. looks a lot more appealing that way yeah it looks really great guys thank you for watching this video if your business or your organization or even your school is interested in learning more about stigler printing and our custom wrap solutions please visit us at stiglerprinting.com or call us today at 918-967-8768 enjoy your weekend guys thank you so much